This is a demonstration of the conversation mechanism using a subprocess and a wait for file change activity. So this this main process kicks off a timer, and it every two seconds it kicks off the timer and then calls this subprocess. And so the subprocess returns immediately. And one of the interesting and more important things it returns is the job ID. Now that's the job ID is going to be unique for every subprocess. So it's a nice Thing to use for keys. Um, it's not globally unique because multiple engines would, would use the same job ID, but uh, it's certainly for, for this uh, demonstration purposes a unique, unique value. Also, I use a, uh, a random number to simulate that it's doing something. Now, this could have been you know, going out to a database or uh, calling some other uh, mechanism that's going to take from three to seven seconds, um, and it's going to say it's ready, and then it's going to write it to a file. It's going to write its job ID to a file. Now, that's important because if you go back to the main, this wait for file change activity uh, is going to look at that file every second. It's waiting for changes to the file. And it's, it's going to start the conversation given one value, and then it's going to join the conversation given the, the value of the, the file. So it takes the return value coming out of the response, the response coming out of this operation, which is the job ID of the child, and then when the job ID of the child is written into the file, then this conversation will be joined, and then it will say that it's uh, joined. All right, so that's the log message will start out, say sent, it'll wait for the file to change. When it changes, uh, this will change and say sent, and it'll give you the time that, that it's, uh, it's, it's doing things. So we're going to say uh, go here, let's just run the engine. And it's going to start kicking off jobs. The uh, the consoles initially it's going to kick off uh, three or four jobs because they kick off every two seconds, and then the child takes three to seven seconds to do something. And so the first couple here sent. It's going to send a couple, three, and then up oh, there the child says ready. And then so the the, the parent synced up on on 101, 103, 105, 107. So it's it's, it's skipping every other one because the, the, uh, the ID for the, the child process is, is the uh, even numbers. And so it's, it's sending off a response, and now it's into a, in somewhat of a rhythm, although because it's a random number, uh, one or two jobs will probably be, be kicked off. Um, the file is not the greatest thing to use for this, this mechanism because the, uh, the contents of the file, you know, it's, it's, it's just writing this, this one file and everyone using the same file would, would overload it. So better to use something like uh, JMS uh, queue so you can, you can queue up all these responses. But uh, files are easy to use for a demo and you can kind of see what's happening. You can look inside the file, see what's happening, um, and also see that, that the, the same file that's being written here is the same file being read in the previous process. So that demonstrates conversations using uh, sub-processes and files, uh, file write and wait for file change.